it's time for another 10 minute exercise to help you master memory techniques. This week we're going to focus on how many images can you place at one location. So what you're going to do is very simple. For the first 5 minutes, you're going to memorize information. I recommend words because words, there's a big variety. You have small words, you have long words, some words might be more difficult. So for the first 5 minutes, you're going to be memorizing. But you need to decide ahead of time how many words are you going to place per location. You're going to do 2, 3, 7. You want to figure that out because that's what you're testing in this week's exercise. Now, for example, I might put these first three in the first location. So I'll create my images and boom, place them. Because remember, each word is going to have an image. So if you do five words per location, you'll have five images per location. Now, for the next five minutes, you're going to be recalling the information, right? Of course. But you really want to pay attention to how you're recalling the information. Is it easy? Is it harder? If you're doing seven words per location, is it a lot harder because you're not sure uh, which word's there? Are you forgetting a word? And if you want to remember the order of these words, then that comes into play, right? So if you have seven, are you mixing two around? And that's what you're really focusing on this week. You really want to see, okay, my limit for images in a location is five or ten. but no, it might depend on what information you're learning. Numbers might be a little bit easier because, you know, with words, you might have to break this down into two images. Um, so there's those things to take into consideration when doing this. But words, most of the information you're going to learn is going to be in word form, right, for the most part. And so that's why I really recommend using random words for this exercise. And yeah, there you go. So what I recommend is maybe do your first five minutes of memorization, then an hour later do the recall because you're really going to see a okay, way. Wow, all those images, I couldn't keep them straight or no, I forgot an image here and there. That's going to really let you know because of course if you call right after, it's going to be very easy for you to actually get 100% right because no, you just memorize, boom, recall. It's fresh in your memory. I want that delay because that delay is going to take its toll, right? If your images were weak, they're probably going to disappear. If they're strong, then it doesn't matter if it's an hour, two hours, a day later, you would still be able to remember that information. So yeah, so that's this week's uh, memory exercise to help you master memory techniques. Hopefully you enjoy it, try it out, let me know how it works, and I'll see you next time. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on memory techniques, how to do better in school, memory challenges, updates, and much more. Also remember to click the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are down below in the description. You also can check out these videos. If you want to learn all the memory techniques and learn how to apply them to all sorts of information, or if you want to start competing in memory competitions, you can check out my programs down below in the description. Look forward to my next video and get ready to get the best memory of your life.